Welcome to this tutorial video on the Easy Projects app for Microsoft Teams. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install the Easy Projects app in Microsoft Teams, how links to projects and activities are shown as user-friendly cards displaying the name, status, and a button to open the item in Easy Projects. This is also known as link unfurling. How to turn your Teams chats into Easy Projects activities, and finally, how to search for Easy Projects items directly from Teams. Let's switch over to Teams and install the Easy Projects app. In Teams, navigate to the Apps tab. Type Easy Projects in the search bar. Please note that I'm showing more than one version of the app, including some development versions. You will only see one official version. Click on the Easy Projects app in the results. On the resultant page, click Add. The app will be added to Teams. Now, go ahead and type Log In. Click Sign In. Enter the name of your Easy Projects account. To find this information, if you're unsure, simply check the address bar of a browser with Easy Projects open. It will be the part after https colon slash slash and before dot go dot easy projects dot net. So in my case, it's path to success. Click continue. Click allow. If all goes well, you'll be directed back to Teams with a message that you are now logged in. The very first thing that I recommend you do is to pin the Easy Projects app in your menu. Okay, so now that I'm logged in, let me paste a link to an Easy Projects task so that you can see what it'll look like. The resultant card shows us the name of the task, the status of the task, who the task is assigned to, and it also provides a button to go directly to the task in Easy Projects. All of your projects and activities will be shown like this in Teams very, very easy to use. Next, let's create an activity in Easy Projects directly from a chat in Teams. Mouse over a message that you want to convert, click the three dots, click More Actions, and then click Create Task. In the page that comes up, give the task a name. Choose the project to add it to. Optionally update the description. Click Create. And finally, press send. And just like that, your task is created in Easy Projects. Let's click on the view task to validate that it was created. And here it is. Next up, I will demonstrate how you can search for a project or activity directly from Teams, so you can find the project or activity you want to reference in a chat without having to leave Teams. I'll start by typing out my message for my recipient, and then I'll click this button to open up the search dialog. In the search dialog, I can choose to search for a task or a project. Okay, here's the one that I want. I'll click to add it to my chat. Click Send. Now, when the project manager gets my message, he will be able to click View Project to access the project without having to do anything else. Please note that the ability to search for tasks and projects has not yet been released, but we anticipate it being ready very soon. Finally, we're planning on adding the ability to embed Easy Projects right in Teams as a tab, so you can get everything done right here in Teams if you'd like. Stay tuned for an announcement on when that will be released. Check out the app and let us know what you think. We'd love to hear your feedback about other functionality you'd like to see in the near future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.